Hey guys, this is uh, Dewall Newfie coming back at y'all again, straight up from the East Coast, Newfoundland, Easterly Point, North America. What up? Anyway, this is just a quick little video response, you know, to my boy Ray William Johnson. You know, I gotta admit this this clip that he put up was a very a very good clip. Hit me in the heart. Ted Ted Williams. I got to admit. That is a miracle story right there. That's something that you don't see happen every day. And that just goes to show the power of the internet out there, boys. The power of the internet. Tell William Johnson, I'm sorry to hear that you went into drugs and all that. And all. we all experimented. Some of us got worse than others. Me, myself, was one of the people that were worst off. I was in that lifestyle for a few years of my life. But I'm glad to have that out the blue now. I've been clean now for... A year and two months, so uh, I'm happy about that. But uh, Ted William Johnson, you see this fella? You see this fella, Ted Williams. This fella is just holding up a song, you know. This one I mean, take a chance. You never know what could happen, you know. If he didn't hold that song in the corner of that road, you know, he'd still be just, you know, a bomb out there, like you know. But man, you hear his voice. His voice was sick. His voice was like crazy. Like I couldn't even get over it, man. His voice was like. I almost sound like it was dubbed over, like, you know what I mean, in the video clip. But, uh, you know, as it wasn't, it's just, like, uh, that's how good it was, right? But, man, you see him, man, like, man, when you seen him standing there, he looked like a crackhead or something, man. He's like, you know, up there, you know, trying to do some scams and then, you know, I asked for a quarter, you know, to buy something, he turn around and gonna go buy a hit crack, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, no, man, clean for two years, got a job to Cleveland, you know. Doing good, man. All in 48 hours after the video was posted. 48 hours. And now we living high. Living in a house. Guaranteed making loot. Like, you know. But whatever. You see that cat? That cat was nuts. Cat looked like it was stuck up in the ass so hard that Brian would have filled it up in freaking Catalonia. You know what I'm saying? That shit was white, who kid? That shit was white, man. This shit looked like it was possessed by a devil or something, man. This shit's gonna come out and scream, man. It's gonna freaking take me and bring me back to his lab, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that was a cat. I think that was a goddamn squirrel possessed. That's what I think. Yeah, that's what I think. But, let alone the cat. I think that that cat has something to do with Buddy of KFC. I don't know what's time to go there, but that buddy at KFC, man, he shit. He freaking flipped his lid, didn't he? He flipped his lid like something freaking wacko, man. Like, what is up with that? Like, man, buddy flipping out of customer videotaping and shit, man. Like, man, what the fuck is up with that, man? Go over and visit Shea Carl. What are we gonna do? Shea Carl walked in there, big old man like that. You gonna flip out of him like that, too, you KFC little bitch? Yeah, that's what I toss. Yeah. Shea Carl bust, bust your ass, man. It's right, bust your ways. But anyway, I don't know. Buddy at KFC got a bit, a uh, few bolts loose up in the head, but like, you know. Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's your crazy Newfie signing out. Deuces.